these are all the fabrics that I'm going to arrange. Boop, boop, boop. Nice and sparkly. Christmassy. What are you doing? Come on, it's time to lose. This is the hot chocolate bar. It is hailstoning. I've just cut out the first section. Okay, I'm just going to pop it in the washing machine. Hello and welcome back to this Christmas video fabric slashing. This is Didsbury Art Studio and I am Sally. Didsbury Art Studio is run in Didsbury, Manchester, UK and here we are. So we're going to get straight into the video and I've got a load of kind of Christmassy fabrics that we can put together, a fabric slashing piece and come here, come here, come and say hello, come on. I've got a cat that's just like upside down lying on my feet here. Layla, you can say hello. No. <laughs> right, let's get straight into it. <laughs> do anything I'm definitely gonna go and make myself a hot chocolate so this is the hot chocolate bar I got this from Etsy and it's just got all sorts of cool little things I put in there smarties and chocolate flakes and stuff so just going to get going on making a hot chocky yum Okay then, so I've got a square here which measures uh, of fabric, beautiful fabric, of 18 inches by 18 inches and I've also got some burgundy fabric for my background. So what we need to do now is obviously that's the front that I want to use, nice and sparkly. I thought that was quite um, Christmassy and I've grabbed a load of off cuts of fabrics that I had. Need to make this a bit higher. <laughs> and I'm going to organize these onto my fabric after I've drawn my design on the front. And what I'm gonna do now is literally just draw some diagonal lines on. Just gonna space them out how I want them. Not particularly with a ruler, just freehand. And I'm putting this on with a pencil because I just tried the blue water soluble pen and it didn't show up very well. And then I tried the Biro black one. Again, that didn't show up too well. And this is quite quilted and padded already. So I've done them diagonally this way and now I'm going to go straight up mm. Quite difficult to see Don't really want to get too soft a lead pencil because I don't want it to smudge as I sew, so. Hi, Layla. And then now I'm just gonna move on to using a biro, actually, because I think that's gonna stand out a bit better. And then finally, I think I'm gonna go the opposite way diagonally from that first one. Let's go in between the lines. Hey Squirt, you're sitting by my feet. Hi. Hi. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put this fabric behind. Move this one. And then these are all the fabrics that I'm going to arrange on here. What are you doing? Hey, cheeky chops. Hey. <laughs> Come on. Come on. Here's your bed. These are the fabrics I'm going to use. 
So let's get cracking. She's probably going to eye these up because they look like a bit of fun, a bit of games. Come on, it's time to move. Grumps. Here you go. Stay there. Stay there. Right, so let's go. some of this shiny, I don't even know what you call it, kind of wrapping paper from, I think it was Hobbycraft, something like that. I'm just going to try it in there. I don't know if it'd be any good, but it seems quite Christmassy. Little lights are sound, don't you? So let's try a bit up there. That's what it looks like. And what I'm going to do is pop the top over it and clip them together. I'm actually going to start sewing from the middle out and it's going to flatten it as I go along. To the centre, put my needle in and then head down this line here. Stone in now. That is the first square done. I've just used runner stitch and red thread, and now I'm going to sew the rest. On, I'm just on the last section of it. Okie dokie, so that is all sewn, just ready to cut through with the scissors. Just cut out the first section, which were the straight parallel lines. literally jabbing a little hole in with the smaller scissors first and then going in with my larger fabric scissors. I'm going to pop it in the washing machine. Alrighty, so this is the final result. And I'm really pleased with it because what I've gone back and done is just trimmed some of these little cutouts a little bit more so I can see the fabric underneath. So you can see I've just cut slightly slimmer that width there and in there as well. So I've done it all the way along and yeah, I think it works out much better. Um, I was a little bit concerned before when I realised that it had the wadding showing behind it, but I've trimmed it off and I think actually, in a weird way, it kind of enhances it, doesn't it, with the, the whole snow, Christmas, I think it works really well. So, really happy. Let me know in the comments what you think and if you want more videos like this, fabric slashing that is. If you enjoyed my video today and that you liked the results and if you did 
don't forget to give me a like and a thumbs up for that and yeah I hope you have a good week and I will see you in the next video. If you want to write down in the comments any sort of other techniques that I might be able to show you, then just give me some suggestions, otherwise I'll plough on. All right then, take care, bye!